Hi there, I'm Dr. Linda Papadopoulos, and I'm here supporting National Numeracy because I think I think numeracy and maths in our culture holds this really kind of interesting position where most people dread it. It's kind of okay to say that you hate it. It's okay to say that you don't want to do it. And actually, you know, and, and people are going to, you know, hate me for saying this, but learning how to think mathematically is actually really good for you in other areas of your life. It actually helps with problem solving. So I think it's important to, to take a moment to think about where this kind of fear comes from and how we react to it. So one of the central things that I think happens when we fear something is we avoid, right? The underside of anxiety is avoidance. So we decide that, um, you know, math is something that we're not good at. So we just stop engaging with it completely. We don't try and find ways around it. We don't necessarily seek help. And then we start kind of as part of that avoidance, integrating that into our identity. Well, I'm, ju I'm just not good at that. So it becomes about who we are rather than problem solving, which is at the core of this. So I think in many ways, speaking to the psychology of how we deal with avoidance, is going to be central in helping one overcome their fear of math. Now, I think first and foremost, it's really important to think about how you speak to yourself. There's a big difference between saying, I can't do this and I find this really difficult. It may seem that these things are saying the same thing, but actually they're very different. I can't do this is very closed ended. That's it, I'm done, this is not for me. I find this difficult on the other hand, means that there's a way around this. I just need to figure it out. So be aware of how you speak to yourself and be aware of how open-minded you are with regards to how you wanna progress. The second thing is to stop being avoided in small incremental ways. So I'm not suggesting you go from, you know, hating math to doing sort of a, a PhD in the area. What I am suggesting is that you start trying to expose yourself. And this can be done in various ways. It can be something small, like spending more time looking at finances. It can be the way that you, um, you know, you play a game, perhaps. Perhaps you're, I don't know, into darts or, or something that requires sort of numbers and you kind of think about that. It may be just allowing yourself to stay in that moment where you feel a bit anxious when you're supposed to kind of give someone back change and kind of take out your calculator and kind of just take a moment and think. So those small incremental steps are going to be key. And thirdly, and really critically, I think when it comes to avoidance, it's understanding that the solution is often the biggest part of the problem. The more I avoid, the more I feel comfortable in my insecurity, the more I validate the idea that I can't do something. So you need to begin to tolerate the discomfort of not feeling okay. And through that, take risks. The only way that our confidence increases is to do the thing that we never thought we can do. So on that vein, I think if you are someone who fears math, don't define yourself as that. Define yourself as someone who finds it difficult, that can do it, step-by-step step incrementally, make those changes, and before you know it, you'll be great.